I've got FIFA 23 early, and it's time to begin my first FIFA 23 career mode, and it's going to be with Barcelona. They haven't won the Champions League since 2015. They don't have Messi anymore. Well, we're going to make them the best team in Europe. Big thank you to EA for providing me with an early copy of the game. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited for this. Let's start our brand new career mode. Look at the new menus. Live your dream career on the pitch or behind the bench. Well, let's do it. Okay, so we've got a new menu to choose our manager, so if we want to create a new manager, we can do it this way. Oh, we've got some new generic templates for how our manager could look like. That's cool. But of course, the brand new feature of FIFA 23 is that you can literally play as real managers. If I want to be Diego Simeone coaching Barcelona, why would I want that now? But if I do, that can happen. Or maybe someone like Stevie G, Frank Lampard. This is so cool. Real managers are in the game. But I think it's obvious. We're Barcelona, of course. We're going to be managing them as Xavi. Let's Let's give Xavi some new drip to. Guys, does this not look like a Champions League winning manager? Absolutely it does. All right, there you go. We're going to be managing Barcelona as Xavi. Ooh, now time to set up our stadium. Now, because the Camp Nou is not officially in FIFA, this is the stadium that's basically a replica of it. We can just rename it to that. And you guys know who just bought the naming rights to the Camp Nou? It's Spotify. So we're going to call our stadium exactly that. There you go. That way we've got the Spotify Camp Nou in the game. A quick overview these are the settings we're going to be using in this career mode. Now, allow it, guys. We're going to be on Legendary to start things off because I don't know how FIFA 23 AI is going to be. From what I'm hearing, the game is a lot more difficult. Also, we've got the real-life Champions League groups, which is, I don't think so, that good for us because we're going to be up against Bayern soon. But anyways, guys, it's a new year. FIFA 23 content. I can't wait for it. If you guys are hyped for this Barcelona career mode, I need your support. If we can smash out 15,000 likes today. I'll get you an episode tomorrow. That's a deal. Also, if you want to get FIFA 23 for cheap, make sure to check out S2G.shop. You can get your Xbox and PSN gift cards, and also don't forget to use S2G10 at checkout to get a 10% off. And here we are, guys, in the FIFA 23 menus for the first time ever, and I like it. I love how we've got the, the new screens, the, the cutscenes coming in the main menu itself. I love how the squad looks like, and I think our captain shows up every time on the right. That's cool. We get a quick overview of the squad hub it shows us the players whose contracts are expiring so that's that's pretty awesome and it also shows like which players development plan is close to completion we've got new menus for the youth academy and stuff as well that's pretty cool i know they've taken the menus slightly from ultimate team but let's hope the, these menus grow on us now you guys know what's the first thing we do every time we start a new career mode let's assess the squad we're working with and decide where we need improvements of course robert Lewandowski is the main man I still can't believe Barcelona pulled this off. He's going to be amazing for us. Also, Usman Dembele now completely rejuvenated. He's going to be great too. Ansu Fati has enormous pressure on him. The pressure of the most iconic jersey number to carry worn by the greatest player of all time. I don't know how he's going to cope with it, but my goal is to make Ansu Fati the best player in the world in this series. Hopefully it'll be possible. That's why I'm just straight away putting him on a development plan. We need to get him to be insane as soon as possible. Talking about that number 10 jersey, the Leo Messi. I've actually heard rumors about him potentially joining Barcelona, but you know what? For the first season, I'm not going to do that. But hey, never say never. Who knows what happens in the future? But yeah, the rest of the team gets even better, especially with Pedri and De Jong in that midfield. Plus, a youngster like Gavi, who's like 70. How insane is that? That midfield is sorted. And then we move on to players that, you know what? We're going to look to ship out. I think Sergio Busquets, with that 42 pace that his error at Barca, we're gonna make it reach its end. I want Kessi to be the man in that role. The same with Jordi Alba. If an offer comes, I'm okay with him leaving. Even in real life, Xavi has been using Baldi instead of him. And I'm talking about Baldi. I've got high expectations from him. His potential is insane. If we keep using him and let dynamic potential do its thing, and of course, putting him on a solid development plan, he could be the next big thing in the left back spot. To be honest though, I'm perfectly happy with my center back pairing of Araujo and Conte. Can't get any better than that. This Stegen's good too. PK in the reserves. I'm gonna look to sell him. You know, my basic overview of this squad is the attack, midfield sorted. Center back sorted. It's the full backs where we'll need to invest. Players like PK I'm already putting on the transfer list. I think we need to get rid of them. The same with Sergio Roberto. I'm just not feeling the vibe. Sergio Busquets, I still think for squad depth could be good. But Jordi Alba, oh, 
Ah, he's 84 rated. I'm still unsure about this, so I'll let you guys decide. Normally in my Barcelona career mode, I don't end up focusing on the Youth Academy, and that's something I want to change this time around. I want the Youth Academy to be a big focus, so that's why from episode number one itself, we're working on it. So we've already got one Youth Scout involved, but I think we should be hiring another one. Hopefully we can get a 5-star 5-star Scout. That's not available. You guys think I should wait before we can maybe get a 5-star 5-star Scout? Let's actually do that. And we're gonna set up a scouting network in Spain for the first three months and see maybe if we can get some future talents. We already have the homegrown player in our youth academy, Cesar Otero, 64 rated, 79 to 94 potential. That is insane. I think for now, we'll keep him in the academy. Maybe I'll give him his debut over the course of the season, but I'll probably look to loan him out. But let's hope we can build a flourishing academy and have at least three to four players in the starting 11 at some point. By the way, guys, there's going to be daily FIFA 23 content coming your way. I need you guys to subscribe. Let's see if we can hit 510,000 subscribers soon. And we've already started getting offers for Sergi Roberto. This one's from Chelsea. I want to negotiate because I think we can get a little bit more than him. They're offering me 18.1 million. Okay, let, let's counter with 19 million. By the way, a new feature in FIFA 23 is that you can see a tension meter on the right. And if that gets full, the, the opposition guy is just going to walk out. So Graham Potter, who we're negotiating with right now, who's the Chelsea boss, he'll just walk out. So we need to avoid that. Will 19 million work? No, they're willing to offer me 18.1. As you guys can see, tension between the negotiation is building up. We'll counter with 18.5. That doesn't work. And if we counter again, they're probably going to reject it and we won't be able to sell Roberto. So for now, I'm just going to accept this offer. But that's a cool little thing that they have, they've added to FIFA 23. Bro, Sevilla have come in with a weird offer for, of course, Gerard Pique. They're offering me Jesus Navas. I don't want Navas. He's another old player. I know we want a right back, but not him. As PSG won Ansu Fati, bro, what is going on? Firstly, we'll delegate this offer for PK and try and get him sold for cash. By the way, looks like the PK deal is going to go through. They're only paying us 11.4 million. At this point, I'll take any money for PK. He's 35. It's time to move him on. Oh, we've got a new cutscene. Something is happening. Is that Sergio Roberto? It is. Xavi is walking Sergio Roberto out. I think that's the new cutscene in FIFA 23 for when you sell a player, you have your manager and his assistant walk the player out of the building. That's actually jokes. Oh, look at Sergi Roberto with his uh, duffel bag walking out and heading to Chelsea. That's hilarious. 18.1 million. We've sold him to Chelsea. By the way, did I show you guys how much money are we working with? Especially now that we've sold Roberto. Take a look at this. We've got about 193 million to spend, which is crazy. Of course, we're going to make some smart signings with it. To be honest, guys, I really like how the finance thing looks. It's the same as last year, but you've got this new screen, which shows you your budget throughout the season. It's going to be interesting to see how much wages have increased over the course of the season, how much we've spent on players and everything. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Now that our right back is sold, we need to work on bringing in a new right back. I know that Barcelona were interested in a certain Argentinian right back playing in La Liga itself. It's Juan Foy. He's got a release clause of 53.3 million. I think he'd be a really good right back option. A bit different than your usual right back because he's more of a centre back. But I like the idea of this. We're going to scout him first and see what happens. He's a very versatile player. Also, I'm loaning out a couple of youngsters at the club like Ilias, uh, this Emre Demir guy, Lang Go. Like, I think it's the smart thing. Loan out these youngsters. Let them get better with time. And now things get even more interesting. Manchester City won Jordi Alba. We're doing a complete club clear out here. I think I'll accept it. Give me the money for Alba. I'll take it. We're selling a lot of the old guard at Barcelona. It literally is a new era. And would you look at that? Jordi Alba, he's taking his duffel bag as well and walking out of the door. It's done. Off to Man City for a good chunk of money. This is one exciting player that we've got a loan offer for. Apparently, he's the next big thing. We've got loan offers from Leeds or Club Bruges. I'll accept both. He can go forever. It makes sense to loan out Pablo Torre. Apparently, he's a really good talent. Meanwhile, we know more about Juan Foyth and we can maybe make a move. 79 rated, that's all? I'm a bit disappointed with that overall, but let's still sign him. Barcelona in real life want him. We're gonna try and make it happen as well. Okay, so he's valued at 24 million. Let's just chuck an offer of 25 million and see what Unai Emery thinks about it. Alright, I'm nervous 
nervous. I'm nervous. They want Andreas Christensen. No way. I know I got Christensen for free, but I'm not interested in that deal. We'll up it a bit and offer 27 million for Juan Foyt. And that works. That's brilliant. We'll take it. We're now going to negotiate for our first ever signing in FIFA 23. It's a right back in Juan Foyt. And here's him with his agent. And we'll give him a rotation squad role. But I think he's going to be a starter. I'm glad he's got a game face at least. Important squad role. I think we have to give him that he's asking for it. So we'll give him that. A contract length of three years. Has to be three years. No release clause in the wages. He's at Barcelona now. He's going to be earning the big bucks. 80,000 per week. What does he say? He wants more. Bro, he actually wants more. Fair play. If he wants it, we'll give it to him. He wants 90,000 per week. There you go. We've just signed Juan Foyt. Yo, we've got new cutscenes for player transfers as well. Love it. Juan Foyt walking into the building for the first time. And he's out here fist pumping Robert Lewandowski. Getting through his medical as well. Hopefully acing it. And Robert Lewandowski is there as well with Destegen. The they're enjoying the show. And there's Juan Foyt. The transfer's now been announced and he's being revealed as a Barcelona player. This is so freaking sick. Oh my god. I love it. I love this cutscene, boys. Juan Foyt at Barcelona. This is what we paid for him. 27 million. Now, in FIFA 23, the game rates whether you've made a good transfer or not. And according to the game, it's a B transfer. Not bad. There you go. I've put Juan Foyt into that starting 11. I think we should chuck a development plan on him. That's for sure. Oof. I think because he's good defensively. I want to try putting him on attacking wide backers. We need to up that pace somehow on him. With Jordi Alba sold, the only position I think we need to improve this window is left back. Let me know who you think we need to sign. We'll keep that transfer for next episode. Also, guys, we are going to have press conferences in this career mode. Don't you worry about it. Get your questions in. It could be about my team, about our tactics, about signings. You guys want to see anything. So get commenting and we'll answer your questions in the next episode. There you go. We've loaned out the talented Pablo Torre to Leeds United. And now we've got another offer for PK. The first one, I think, failed. He wasn't willing to go to Sevilla. Maybe he's willing to go to Newcastle, which will be interesting. They've got new owners, so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. And it's done. It's an end of an era. Gerard Piquet walking out of the, the club. He's been sold. Piquet's gone. It's a new era at Barcelona. The old guard have gone. I'm actually really gassed for this. We've got our first monthly scouting report at Barcelona. Are there any ballers? Okay, this is not looking good. None of these players look exciting at all. Well, this guy, he's valued at 700,000. So we'll sign him up. He looks so somewhat decent, but the rest are trash. No. Oh, what? He's valued at 1.8 million? We'll sign him up, too. So, a couple of nice players coming into the academy. Wait, both of them are goalkeepers? Ah, there's no point keeping two keepers at the club. We'll release one of them, and we'll focus maybe on making Aguilar our potential backup keeper. He already looks like he could be in the first team, like, as a backup, at least. I'm, I'm liking this. Already players coming into the academy that look good. Meanwhile, Barcelona's eternal rivals Real Madrid are also making Making some smart signings. Pembele from PSG. It's not a superstar signing, but Madrid lately have been investing smartly, and this might be one of those. It's soon time to kick off our La Liga season. We're not making any more transfers in this episode by the looks of things. The next episode we will. So get your comments in. Money's not really an issue because we've got 255 million, but I do want to keep things realistic. So keep that in mind. Oh, we've got a pre match press conference. I haven't attended one of these in a long time. So let's get the team hype. Oh, look at the new La Liga match. Ball, it's good. Is the team good enough to win the league title? Already getting into the big boy questions. I think it's all about belief. That's all I say as a manager. And I, I think we've got the squad. Robert Lewandowski up top gives me hope. Is Foyt ready to make an impact? I think he'll need time, but I'm going to give him his debut. My first FIFA 23 game ever. And I'm excited to be picking the lineup. I think we got to take the route of Xavi. Xavi in real life has been giving the youngsters a chance. We're going to do it. I told you I'm betting. I'm putting my stocks in Balde. We're going to start him in this game. I want to keep Kessie in there, of course. But I also want to see what Gavi's all about. So, the young's going to have to be on the bench for this one. But that is the team. I'm ready for this. Oh my god. We've got like some sort of a cutscene at the start of this game. Like the, the, the guy is getting ready for the fixture. Oh, the, the fans are there as well. This is so sick. It just adds so much atmosphere to the game. And a quick highlight reel of maybe past matches of Xavi as well. This stuff is awesome. It is time for my first game on FIFA 23. Why is Kessie captain? That's just wrong. We need to change that. We will. Let me know in the comment section. Who do you think 
of this new era Barcelona side should be captain. Forget the Champions League. This season, we need to get back to winning La Liga. That is the major goal for us, and let's work towards it. We got to start off with a win. Oh, by the way, FIFA 23 looks good. I love how the grass looks. It looks a lot more realistic as Pedri's got a chance going for goal from distance. Just testing the keeper. I see Lewandowski make that run. Controlling it well, seeing Ansu Fati, brilliant touch, and Ansu Fati gets our first goal of the series, and it only takes seven minutes. What a start to the Barcelona career mode. Ansu Fati donning the number 10, stepping up just like the man who wore that jersey number previously. By the way, credit to Lewandowski, the link-up player was nice, Ansu's touch inside, and a lovely finish. This is the dream start for us. My first goal in FIFA 23 only took me seven minutes. This might be a good year for us, boys. Oh, we've opened up way too much in 11 minutes. This game has just been insane. They've equalized now. In 12 minutes and we've seen two goals. Like, what is going on? FIFA 23 is a bit mad. Efficient mechanics to use. It's not easy, but we're figuring it out. Right now, we've got Balde on the run. Looking inside for Usman Dembele. Seeing Robert Lewandowski on his right foot. Couldn't get a shot off, although we still might have a chance. Usman Dembele cleverly going back for Kessi. Lewandowski from distance going for it. Another good save, but this game has been end to end. Oh, this is bad. How is he onside? How is he onside? Ter Stegen saved us there. Bro, this Barcelona team has problems we've conceded. But this time it's offside. A sigh of relief. Robert Lewandowski, that first touch was nice. He looks for Pedri. Pedri's opening up a bit of space. And there's the power shot from Pedri. Did you guys see that? That was a rocket. Their keeper saved it. Oh, by the way, corners are brand new in FIFA 23. How do we make this work? I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Decent power on it. And, of course, I'm terrible at corners, even with the new mechanics. Dembele. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one for Foyt. Foyt is not the kind of player to get in behind, but he's doing his bit. Cut back for Lewandowski. Finds its way for Pedri, who goes for the finesse. But the keeper makes a good save. Good start to the second half. All right, we've got Dembele now ready to take this corner. Let's see what we can do this time. Again, decent power. This time for Lewandowski, we couldn't attack it, although finds its way for Usman Dembele. There's the skill. Looking for a ball in. Oh, again, we couldn't attack it. And I see Usman Dembele. We know one player that can just run down the field with his space. It's Usman. Can he provide us with some options, though? Let me see. Usman Dembele now. Taking it wide. Oh, just, that was bad. We need changes. We need something fresh. Good as Kessie is. I want a bit of experience. Busi's coming on. Also, Dembele, not his best game. Let's bring on Rafinha. And a bit of pace in the right back position with Bellerin. Couple of three nice changes. Let's see, boys. The armband is now with Busquets as it should be. Lovely ball for Rafinha. He's going to use that pace. He's going to use that pace to try and bring it inside. Does so. Looking for a ball in for Robert Lewandowski. The header is perfect. That's what the goal machine does. Robert Lewandowski puts us into the lead. We bring on Rafinha. He sets him up. This man is going to score goals for fun. Comment down below your prediction. How many is he going to get? I think 30 plus. Look at that cross and look at the header. Doesn't get any better than that. No, no, Araujo, what have you done? How has he been sidestepped like that? Conde and Ter Stegen end up saving the day. Such a smart ball that is for Ansu. Looking inside for Lewandowski. Not many options there. And I see Alejandro Balde. Could go for a cross. I just need Lewandowski to make a better run. We're going inside for him. Lewandowski going for it. Good save again from the keeper. Oh, with the right stick, I can, I can maybe try and chip the ball in. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what happens with this. It's a chipped corner. Which we managed to win the header from and almost score. That might be the tactic for corners. No, no. Conde is dead with stamina. He can't, he can't catch up. Bellerin needs to do a job. Power shot to Stegen and off the post. They had their chance and they've missed. That's a good ball. Dangerous one in. Stegen saves. Oh boy, we're hanging on right now. I'm still figuring out this team, boys. It's not easy FIFA 23, let me tell you that. That's that, guys. Full time. My first game on FIFA 23. Barcelona career mode. We end up with a dub.
the start we needed. Just after this game, I realized Robert Lewandowski has already started to go down in his overall. That is not a good thing. I'm going to put him on a poacher development plan. I think that way we'll keep his stats intact for a while. Or should it be mobile striker? I don't know. I guess we'll keep it poacher for now. I don't want his overall free falling like this, man. Come on. It's actually been in good form. Scored a goal and got an assist in his first La Liga game. Okay, wait. Hold up. Am I seeing things right? First episode itself of the Barcelona career mode. We've got Real Madrid. I is, is this some sort of a joke? Is this some sort of a joke? We've got an El Clasico in this episode. Bro. Oh my God. And honestly, I'm a bit worried because our team isn't all that ready. We still need a left back. We're going to play it in this episode because I want to experience an El Clasico in FIFA 23. What do we do for our lineup though? It's it's a big dilemma. I think the front three picks itself. I want De Jong and Kessie in the team. So the midfield as well. At the back though, do I go for experience or do I go for the youngster Balde? I think I'm going to go with him. But at right back to deal with Vinicius, I need pace. So Bellerin starts. So there you go. Controversial changes, but an El Clasico already in this series. Are you kidding me? That Real Madrid team, it's, it's a classic. We're, we're going to have a tough time. There you go, boys. Uh, our first home game of the season. The, the fans are ready for an El Clasico. It's going to be unreal, and we need to hopefully deliver for them. That's one way to start a Barcelona career mode with an El Clasico as your second game. This is going to be a real test for us. Are we going to be good enough to compete with the best of the best without, of course, making too many signings? Frankie de Jong is looking good, and he's looking quick too. De Jong has done really well here. Heavy touch, tough angle. Good save, Courtois, but that was an early chance. Frankie de Jong's runs from midfield could be vital in this game. There's Ben Zemmer on FIFA 23. He's one of the highest, if not the highest rated player. We've got Vinicius running at me and I'm scared. I'm still scared. He looks inside for Ben Zemmer. Vinicius and Ben Zemmer, they've opened me up. No! Luka Modric scores! Shocking defending from me. And Madrid take the lead in the Classico. This just shows our team isn't quite ready yet. It's only the first episode though. I see Lewandowski in a good spot. Cross for Lewandowski. I couldn't attack it, but that was our first sighter. Robert Lewandowski. Balde is doing a really good job in a classic. I mean, the pressure on him is immense. And so far, so good. I need to change one instruction on Lewandowski. I feel like he's just going everywhere. And I don't like it. We need him to be central. Like, just be at the center of the pitch. Be that target, man. That's what we need him to do. Yo, Vinicius is just too good. Finds Benzema. We're backing off him because he's so freaking good. Uh, Balde versus Benzema is not a fight. I'm interested in Benzema. Does him. Looks inside. Thankfully, it's offside there, but man, is the Madrid attack ruthless. Oh, Benzema's through on goal. Des Stegen's charging forward. Benzema with the chip. We're getting completely outclassed in the El Clasico. Real Madrid are making a mockery out of us in this first half, at least. This is at the camp now. I think we need some changes. Like, but what can we even do? It's not been Ansu Fati's game, but he scored in his last game. So, kind of want to keep him in. Maybe Gavi, but then De Jong's doing well. It's it's tough. We, we really don't have many options. We're going to keep the squad as is heading into the second half and just, just hoping for one goal. One goal could change everything. Oh, Vinicius is now through, but this time Jules Conde did well to block him off. Madrid, for, for this Barcelona team to overcome Madrid, we have a lot of work and a lot of steps to climb. Let's just say that. Araujo is not giving him space, which is great, but he's so good at rotating the ball around. And this time, Balde, who's had a solid game, does really well. Okay, this is where we can maybe open up a bit of space. Dembele. Oh, come on. Our front line has just not been good. Dembele has had a nightmare. We need Rafinha on. Oh, I see you, Rafinha. I see you, Rafinha. Come on. Oh, he's getting outpaced by Militao. Oh, Militao is so good. There we go with Rafinha. This is our chance, and we're not getting many. I'm Siansu Fati making the run. It's a simple cutback. And Ansu Fati scores in a Classico. Collect the ball back. There is something to fight for in these last 15 minutes. Rafinha has made a solid impact. Tony Cruz to take it? No. Maybe David Alaba. He's good at free kicks. He's going to jump over it. Cruz is going for it. It's off the post and in. Unbelievable free kick from Tony Cruz. That could sink us in this Classico. Look at this angle. Tony Cruz, how did he pull that off? 23 meters. The XG was 0 0.1. 
Wow, what a free kick that was. This was a tough reality check. There is so much we need to improve with Barcelona. Next episode, we need to solve the left back problem. Do we go for someone like a former Barcelona player, like Alejandro Grimaldo? Or do we go crazy and sign a superstar like Jao Cancelo? Or maybe even a beast like Alfonso Davies? Next episode, we'll have to make that call. For now, that's that for this one. Drop a like, subscribe. Second episode of the Barcelona career mode will be out tomorrow and there is so much we need to do. Peace.